Now this tree that we first planted from the very first time we started this project, it is still standing. And just of recent, uh, one of the viewers asked why we don't mulch. We do mulch, but most of the times it's very unfortunate that when we mulch the following week or the following few days, it starts raining and then this mulch is just buried by the running water or by the topsoil that runs. But we do mulch, luckily it hasn't, okay, not luckily as I would, I would state it, it hasn't been raining of late because of the sun. It's May. So this is the mulch that we used. And you can see. Then another, I would call it a disadvantage sometimes. The mulch also attracts the ants and we have been fighting this organically. You can see most of the times the mulch attracts these ants and these are deadly deadly creatures that we would like to keep away from our apples. Like you can see they are starting to build their empire here. We shall sort that out. I had actually not seen it but uh, good thing the earlier the better so this is the mulch that was applied so what I have seen on these apple trees okay however much they are they are just starting to fruit but most of the trees that have started to fruit are bear around eight the ones i've seen so far the ones that have fully started to fruit they bear bear around eight fruits on one tree uh, but they are still fruiting so let's give them some time they will give us the anticipated uh, number of 32 trees. Ah, sorry, 30 plus fruits that we expect from them. But most of them are just still starting to fruit. You can see this one right here. It's hiding in there. Yeah, right there. It's hiding. proceed now some of them have not started fruiting like I showed you before yeah Right now, these are the new guys that just came. New boys on the book. Now, this is what I was talking about. If something grows below the grafted area, I don't know if you can be able to see it. This is the part. This is the part. The grafted part. And then here we have a branch that is growing below that. Now, this you're supposed to pluck off. That is why I've emphasized you guys. The viewers to watch these videos be able to watch these videos and know what to do because that is the grafted part like you can see right there and then we have a branch here growing below now this is unwanted this branch got too excited so we, we, we pluck off this one so I'll, I'll pluck off behind the scenes so this is the grafted part below you're not supposed to let anything grow, any branch grow below the grafted area. Yeah. All right, so I have plucked it off. And I'm going to show you the difference. You can see the sim there is no similarity. This Wambugu apple, the real one has different 
leaves and this as well has different leaves so you can see they are different this one was the one that grew below the grafted area you can see the difference there is no similarity at all so that is why you're supposed to pluck it off because this one on the on the right is not the one book apple so it will just grow wildly without making any progress and it will be giving a hard time for the real wambugu apple tree to grow that is the, the essential part Well, yes, like I was saying, try to make enough research about these seedlings, how they take good care of them, what you're supposed to do, the watering, how you're supposed to water them. It might not even be on this exact channel. There are so many channels out there, especially even the ones from Kate, from the producers of these apples, from the guys who make these apples, from the guys who came up with these apples. You can make a lot of research, watch those videos, how they started, what they've been doing to get them to the to the different certain levels uh at what stage are you supposed to be doing a, a certain thing at what stage are you supposed to be watering when are you supposed to be watering what are you, what are you supposed to be doing with the grafting uh, uh paper all sorts of things don't just purchase and then just drop them in your garden and leave them there no you'll be making so much loss in that because you have to be there take good care of them regardless the number of the seedlings that you've purchased so if i get you these seedlings please don't just stop on receiving them and then putting them in your garden take good care of them because if you don't they will die they will not survive without your care without that tender love and care they will not survive so you have to take good care of them right from the day you've purchased them right from the day you've uh you're taking them to your garden make sure they do not break make sure you you pluck off all those unnecessary uh, uh branches that grow especially below the grafted area you have to pluck off you have to basically take good care of them like you're taking good care of a baby every now and then every now and then check on them check on most of the times they get some insects that will attack them take a look at those apples almost every day when you have the time do that watch the videos below the ones we uploaded a few years not a few years ago a few months ago as we started because i've realized some people don't watch them they just watch the recent videos when the apples have started flowering fruiting not knowing that they, there's a lot that goes on before they even reach to that stage of flowering and fruiting. I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely night.